Hi, my name is Mephilus Requiem, and I'm a guy who likes Sonic a lot, you know? My name kind of explains it, but... Hi, yeah, Sonic Colors Ultimate got a new trailer, and uh, I kind of want to talk about it, because I never made a video talking about Sonic Colors Ultimate when it was released. When it was released... But if you follow me on Twitter, you would probably know by the way, link in the description. Please, I, I like Twitter a lot. Yeah. So uh, anyway, let's actually get into this video. Let's do it! So starting off with the Sonic Colors Ultimate reveal trailer, I was a lot more hyped than I thought I would be because... You know, I loved Sonic Colors, but, you know, if I got a remaster, I was like, eh. I didn't really have a good experience with it. Because I was a kid on a Wii, who used a Wii and not a GameCube controller, because I didn't know about that, so I kind of didn't really like the game that much. But, you know, I still loved it aesthetically. It was still a really good game, I just never liked the laser wrist because I was using a Wii remote the entire time. But, yeah, like, after taking a while, reconsidering, the game was... I'm very happy for it, you know, and it's I was like very hyped and for multiple days I am very hyped Like if you follow me on Twitter, you would know how hyped I am like this is a really f um, Really good game So I really am happy about this new report this port All right, so uh, next thing is a uh, Sonic Symphony when they played Reach for the Stars and Speak With Your Heart, I was just so fucking blown away. Like, everything about me was like, yes, I, I want this game. These better be in this game. If these are in this game, this is gonna be an amazing Sonic game. Because Sonic has amazing, dope-ass music. I don't know if you would have known that if you've ever played a Sonic game. But yeah, that was such an amazing symphony. Like, I really love those. And I have those, I listen to those daily. Like, not gonna lie, I listen to Speak With Your Heart daily. And I listen to Reach, with, to, to Reach For The Stars almost as much. They're both really good from that symphony. Alright, now we're getting to the Sonic Spotlight that happened a few days ago. And uh, just know when I first saw this, I lost my absolute shit. So the first thing that we had was uh, 60 FPS. I love that. Revamp lighting. I don't get why people are complaining. Improved, graphic, improved graphics and 4K resolution, I love all of it. It was all amazing, I don't get why people are complaining, I guess there'll never be enough for them. And then we have the Metal Sonic Challenge, um, I'm interested to see what they unlock. And yes, it looks like it's fucking edited, but you know, gameplay always changes before the final launch. Yeah, it, was, it seemed pretty cool, and I'm definitely gonna try it out. And then we have the parking, the park tokens and customization. Like, holy shit, I lost my goddamn mind when I first saw this. And yes, it's gonna be amazing. I know it. And then, uh, then we have Jade Ghost. That, that shit look, it looks crazy, man. Like, I'm definitely probably gonna use that. Like, goddamn, I did not expect it to do that. Customized controls, um... I'm not gonna having to be using X to stomp and B to boost. That would be horrifying considering I've been playing Sonic games on Xbox forever. That would just be fucking horrifying to me. Tail save, it's just lives, you know? I don't really see the point of it. They could have just had lives. But, you know, nah, they don't want to do that. They just want to give you invincibility and score boosting. I do like the score boosting though. You know, I really like getting S ranks in that game, even though it was absolute trash at it. And I, I'm really looking forward to Aquarium Park music. Like, it was so fucking good. <laughs> and yeah, it's basically all I have to really say about this game for now. Short video, I know. But it's longer than most of mine.